What is up guys, my name is Michael, or Hafo, and uh, basically today I've got quite an awesome tutorial. Well, it, when I say awesome, I mean it's pretty different. I've never seen this shown before in the tutorial. And uh, yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. Basically we're going to be making this target-like effect. It's like this square and it's got the red and black corners. And it's it's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. So what I do with it, I'll just show you briefly as a preview. Uh, it just flies in like that and locks onto the player and I usually do it while the clip's twisted and it also looks awesome on FIFA so I would recommend this to any of you FIFA editors uh, as I'll show you a quick FIFA edit with it this is just an example of one big massive editor who's used this, this is iJewel 2010 I'm sure loads of you have heard of him because he did an amazing montage with the weekend and that was uh, the lad Taj and if you haven't seen that I really recommend checking that so uh, as you will see, what he does with his, this is a lot more advanced than ours. He makes his 3D, and basically it just base same principle, just the red and black corner pieces and the green center, and it locks onto the ball. And uh, well, his is more awesome than mine. Mine's just the After Effects 2D version. Still pretty cool for you guys starting off. So uh, yeah, let's get started. We're just gonna make a. Uh, oh, that's right. Let me just get rid of. Actually, no. I'm going to make a new composition. Sorry about this, but, guys, lots of you want the preview at the start, but because my computer is really slow, uh, it just isn't convenient. I, I'll I do my best to like show you what we'll be making at the start of the tutorial. So, so if you kind of stay watching and whatever my tutorials, I always show what we'll be doing. So in this one, as you can see, it flies in uh, the, the green square, basically. And then it lands on the player and it flashes, so you could add some sound effects to that and it would look pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to create a new solid. A black solid. Or whatever solid you want, It doesn't. you don't actually have to make a solid, but I just like to. And then we're going to make a new adjustment layer. Um, now we're going to go up to the top here and grab our pen tool. Uh, this can also be done by pressing G on your keypad. But I'd rather than click it, to be honest. So now we're going to basically drag, not drag, we're just going to click and make our corner. So make one corner, try and make it as accurate as you can. If not, like that, that's not straight. So what I'm going to do is just grab my little mouse in the corner and just fix that up. That looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hi highlight our adjustment layer, which has the piece on it, little corner. And we're going to go to Effect, Generate, and Stroke. Lots of you will have seen the stroke effect I've used before in different tutorials. If you'd like to see my full tutorial on the stroke effect where I show you how to like outline your gun, just uh, I'll leave some something on the screen now. So yeah. Uh, so now what we're going to do is change our brush, brush size to 2.5. Like so, and that just makes, that just defines the line so you can see the line there. Just going to add our mask back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go Command D on our adjustment layer, and I'm going to do it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But you want to do it seven times because then that'll make eight layers. And basically, what we're going to do is now I am going to highlight two of these, c click my uh, rotation tool, and I'm going to drag this one 90 degrees clockwise. Uh, like so, you can hold the shift key if that makes it a lot easier. Then we're going to grab our next two. Uh, using the same tool, we're going to drag the next two 180 degrees clockwise. Basically, we're just making the corner pieces of the square. If you guys were wondering. It's very easy. Then we're going to drag, click the next uh, two, which is five and six. And we're also just going to drag that the other way, because it would be easier. It was a fail, it was an epic, epic fail. Um, just find which layer this is. Yeah, should be good. So we're going to just go, uh, like so, that should do the trick, I think. Yeah, there we go, perfect. So now what we've got is, we've got all these little layers here. And basically, these are the corner pieces. And what we now have to do is slot them together to like make the square. I'll show you what I mean in a second. 
So I think this is the, yeah, this is the top left corner. Now we're going to go and grab our next piece, which is this piece down here. And we're going to make the other, the bottom right corner. So basically, we're putting together our square here, as you will see. Now I think this is the top right hand corner. Yep, I was not, not wrong there. So as you can see, basically I'm lining up the sides and hopefully getting this nice, a nice square. Uh, if it helps you guys, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can get it a lot more accurate with those. And you don't have to actually do what this shape, the square. I just think it looks nice. You could do a rectangle, I suppose. Um, yeah, I hope this tutorial isn't too long. If it is, I'll just cut this bit out. I don't know why I'm talking. But, nah, it shouldn't be. It should be okay. Right. So now that is done. It's not as accurate as it should be, but just for tutorial's sake, it'll be fine. We're going to select all of the layers which we have made, so highlight them all, and go to Layer and Precompose, and just click OK. And basically what that does is it just puts it all into one layer, so you can drag that around now. And I can see that is really inaccurate, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but it's just for the tutorial, and I'm sure it really doesn't matter. Okay, so now we're going to go... Ooh, now we are going to... Uh, right click and we're going to wait yeah sorry I don't know what I was thinking then Brant you're going to click new solid and we're going to make our solid a nice green I was miles away a second ago sorry about that and just click ok now we're going to grab our rectangle tool in the corner I'm just going to make a square like roughly the size of our square Right, that should be fine. Now I'm going to drag that over. Oh god. Right, here we go. And I'm going to click off the mask because that can be a bit annoying. So I'm going to drag it over the corners and basically you will see the thing failing for some reason. Um, so like that. Drag that corner in. So we're just going to basically line it up with the square if you haven't figured that out already. Uh, wow. It's a bit bothersome. So, line that up. Right. Okay. Just going to use my arrow keys and just, like, move that along. I'm just moving the... Right, that should be fine. Well, yeah. Just for the tutorial, that'll be fine. I wouldn't have it like that. It'd be a bit messy, but... Anyway. So now we're going to go on to our mask on the de on the solid that we made. Go So the solid, open it up. Masks, mask one. And mask feather, I'm going to go for about uh, 20. Maybe a bit more. No, I'll do that in a minute. So we're going to change our opacity to about 30. Um, yeah, 30. That is bad. That is bad. Okay, so maybe mess around with it a bit. 30 looks really dull. I don't know. But I'm sure over a clip it won't be. Um, should be alright. It, well, I know it will be okay, because I've done this before. But if I get rid of that black solid, you will just see that I've got the green... I've got the green uh, square. And I have also got... I'm just going to make it red, so you can hopefully see it better. Okay. Yeah. God. Right. So as you'll see, we've got the corner pieces, and we've got the green square in the middle. Uh, basically... I don't want to make this tutorial too long, and it would have made it longer if I would have shown you. But what I did on the other one was... Let me just zoom in a bit. I just made eight... I made eight on this one. Basically, if you want to just do a regular square with the white corners, or whatever colour you want on the corners, then you're just going to make four. But if you want to make it like this, or this, where it's... Uh, got the red and the black corners, what you're going to do is you're just going to create eight and you're going to tilt each corner ever so slightly so that you can see the other colour behind it um, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to drag that in I'm just going to use the one I made earlier because it's a lot nicer Alright guys, um, sorry about the like instant cut off, it's because uh, I ran out of time but if I get good feedback on this video, if you guys like it, I mean, then I will go and upload the second part, which I'll show you how to animate it and stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm really, really sorry about the cut-off, I don't have a partnership, and therefore I can only upload it for 10 minutes. 
So uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any questions just message me on Skype. Thank you.